Hey guys, welcome back to the Messy Mamas podcast. I hope you guys have been doing really well. I have been gone for a little bit, but I am back. Life got a little crazy and I wasn't able to do the podcast that I wanted. So I had to take a little bit of a break. Um, my son actually had his tonsils removed and so that took up a while. And then with, between that and sicknesses and other momming stuff, I just didn't have any time to record videos or record a podcast. But now I have decided that I am going to take the time out and do this because I have been praying a long time as in what, to, what direction to take the podcast and my YouTube. And after watching Morning with the Masters, um, and if you haven't checked them out, definitely go do so, I felt called to start my own daily devotional and I really wanted to put it on the podcast. I may put it on YouTube as well. I'm not sure, but um, I definitely will be doing daily pod or daily devotionals here. So I did a little searching on the Bible app, which if you want to follow along with the devotional we're doing, you can definitely check out the Bible app. And I found tons on overcoming anxiety and depression and other mental illnesses. So I thought that was perfect for the topic here on my podcast. That, and I'm pretty sure I can find lots on parenting as well. So we have lots of options with daily devotionals. I most likely will, if I do YouTube, be um, recording this in advance just to make sure you guys have uh, daily, like daily podcasts since I am a mom. It isn't always the easiest to record. So you will definitely be getting uh, Monday through Sunday, daily devotionals, and that I don't know if I'll be doing um, the YouTube videos to match. I probably will, but just so you know, I'll be wearing the same outfit because I'm going to probably record one week in advance, and then I'll be doing it along with you as well. So check in if you're on YouTube. Um, definitely make sure to comment if you're doing this as well. And like I said, it's on the Bible app if you want to follow along. So the first, uh, devotional that I saw that I really wanted to start off this like devotional series with is strength for overcoming depression and anxiety. It is a seven day devotional plan and I will have a devotional to read here on the app as well as, um, some verses. And then if I feel called to it, I will go ahead and talk a little bit about how I feel about it as well. I think it would be best to start with the um, two verses it gives us. So it gives Song of Songs 4, 7. You are altogether beautiful, my darling. There is no flaw in you. And then Psalms 139, 13 through 14. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful and I know that full well. So now we'll go ahead and go into the devotional, which is titled Beautiful. There is nothing quite like being the object of somebody's affection. When we allow ourselves to be loved and adored without self-condemnation, our confidence is given the opportunity to grow. When we feel uncomfortable with this sort of love and attention, it reveals what we think about our own worth. Psalm 139 describes how God formed us in our mother's womb. He creatively knit each of us together with purpose and intention. How convinced are you of God's enjoyment of you? He does not create some people to be loved and others to endure an unending rejection. Not only were you created with beautiful and or with beauty and purpose, but you were also made to be loved. God adores you. Will you allow yourself to be encouraged by his devoted affection? So, I do feel very called to talk about this. Um, as a person who has struggled with self-love my entire life, this called to me a lot. If you are as well like me, you know it is hard to really feel like you're worth it, like you're beautiful, because society really brings in this image of what beauty is and what worth is. And not everybody fits into, oh my gosh, I'm stumbling over my words, I apologize. 
but not everybody fits into that box. I don't fit into that box. I had three kids and my body does not look like what it once did. And it definitely doesn't match what the society's standard is for beauty. But reading this, it definitely reminds me and it should remind you as well that God made us in his loving image and that we should love ourselves at whatever stage of life we are. Just because I had three kids and my body doesn't look like the way it did or what society says it should does not mean I'm not worthy of love from others as well as myself. And that's the same for you too. You can be loved no matter who you are or what you look like. As long as you are willing to accept love, you will and can be loved by everybody, including our creator, God. He loves you so very much that he he made you. I mean, he made all of us. And I think we should all be really, really thankful for that because that, that means he wanted us to be on this earth. And that's just a very honoring thing in my, in my thought. Because if he didn't want us to be made, he wouldn't have made us. He wouldn't have created us in his book of life. And that's just amazing. It's hard to... It is really hard to accept that and like think that all the time and it takes work. But um, I actually had a conversation with my therapist on Monday and she said to start writing everywhere, whether it be put on post-it notes in a journal every day, set out affirmations for yourself, positive ones, and read them out loud until you believe them. Because the more you say something, the more you believe it. So if you say every morning, I am worth love, I am worth affection, I am worth whatever it is for you, eventually you will believe it as long as you allow yourself to, to believe it. So let's go ahead and end in prayer and we'll get moving on with our day. God, I admit that sometimes it is hard for me to believe that I am as lovable as I am. Would you speak your words of life over me today and cause me to see myself from your perspective? I yield my self-protection and shame to you today. I don't want to be clouded by these things any longer. Show me who I am to you. God, I also want to thank you so much for everything you give us. And I want to ask you to bless every single one of the people who listen and watch these videos and podcasts and everybody around there, and I pray for the earth, and and I just pray in general for everything, because honestly, as taboo as that sounds, um, it needs it. The society, the world, whatever, it needs prayer, it needs you. We need peace, and peace comes from you. God, I just pray that everyone that is watching and listening can learn to love themselves for who they are, and know that they are worth it because you say they are. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys again for watching and listening today. Check in tomorrow. And uh, if you're on YouTube, make sure you subscribe if you like this content. And make sure, like I said, you check in tomorrow for day two. Bye, guys.